Oh, hey there, everybody. Victor Kim, and you're watching Channel APA. How I got into dancing. I started dancing when I was in high school, my freshman year. And I saw a commercial for Jerry Maguire on TV. And Cuba Gooding Jr., it's when he woke up from his coma and then he's, well, that's, that's miscellaneous details. But he did this move um, on the field and I was like, instead of thinking about the touchdown, I was like, what was that move? <laughs> like, what did he just do? And I was just like so blown away and intrigued by it. And then I would just, like right after that, I went to my living room and I just started trying stuff. I had no, I had no idea what I was doing. There was no YouTube at the time. There was no classes, but I was just so uh, captivated by this kind of movement that I found myself in, in my living room for literally like six hours a day just trying stuff, you know? And eventually uh, I would meet some other people uh, that were interested as well in, in Sacramento where I, where I grew up. And I just kept doing it. I, ever since I started, I, I just never stopped. I love it. <laughs> Music. Oh, just like probably everyone here, I started piano lessons when I was a kid because my parents forced me to and of course I hated it at the time but my mom would always say you'll thank me later and she was right and then I uh, eventually I started playing uh, music for the church where I went to and uh, that's where I picked up a guitar and I started trying to sing and then I, I learned a little bit of drums there too and a little bass guitar and then yeah I went to Hawaii a couple years ago and I picked up an instrument called the ukulele and I the first day that I that I picked it up I think I played for 10 hours straight <laughs> I was just like this is amazing and then uh yeah and then I, I just find myself really uh kind of just kind of obsessed with these things for a while and then I just kind of not think about anything else and do them but um but yeah that's how I started music being forced by my parents <laughs> Quest Crew. Quest Crew. I joined Quest Crew. Well, actually, the members of Quest Crew were a, we were a part of a different dance crew uh, before Quest, and then we formed Quest uh, a couple years after being together for about a year or two. And then it was basically just a group of friends that happened to dance together. You know, we it, it, we were just a group of of individuals that kind of were drawn to each other, not just because of our styles of, of movement, but. Uh, just the way we thought, you know, the way we think and, and look at life. And yeah, it's basically dancing just happened to be the thing that brought us together. I have the privilege of living with uh, a very, a group of people that I'm just genuinely uh, fans of their work. And, and uh, my, my roommate is, he's a guy that, that goes by Kev Jumba. Um, he, he, it's actually really interesting how we had, we'd been connected because I, I I noticed on his Twitter this was right after we had won the show um, that he was following Quest Crew on his Twitter and I'm, I was just a fan of his videos and I just like anyone else I just laughed at his his material and and then I tweeted him one day I'm like hey man I noticed that you were following Quest Crew I just want to say I'm a big fan and you know keep doing what you're doing and then he tweeted me back he's like oh you know and then that's kind of how it started and then like. A week or two later, it's like, you know what, I'm actually going to, he was from Texas at the time, uh, or actually uh, Davis for school, but um, he said, I'm going to be doing this meet and greet at, um, at Six Flags, you know, at, which is an amusement park, well, I think they have it here too, but um, would you, do you want to come? I got free tickets. I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll be coming home from this thing, that, and so it's on the way, so I you know, met him there, and that's where I met uh, David Choi and Wong Fu and Happy Slip and, 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 and Timothy Daylight, it's funny, because Timothy Daylight Ghetto was there, but... I had no idea who it was at the time. This is before he really kind of kind of blew up. And um, yeah, then then uh, I tweeted once. It's crazy how Twitter is just you know. And then I tweeted one day. Uh, this is when I was living in Orange County. I was like, I'm thinking about moving to LA. Is anyone thinking about moving down? And then Kevin and Ryan Higa actually were like, Yeah, <laughs> you know. And I was like, You want to you want to live together? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> and then, oh yeah, and Ryan Higa and, and Dietrich, formerly of Quest Crew as well, uh, live, because we live in this high rise in North Hollywood. I hope that wasn't too much of a vision. But um, it, uh, on the, we live on the 12th floor, and then on the 13th floor, uh, Ryan and, and Dietrich live. So it's like literally, it takes about 20 seconds to get to each other's doors. After America's Best Dance Crew, uh, which still is a, 
a shock that we ended up winning. I, I had no idea that that would happen because I thought Beat Freaks bombed the whole time. But anyway, um, yeah, a lot of a lot of really great opportunities happened because all of a sudden, you know, being I was the week before the, the show started, I was just another kid at, at UC Irvine studying for his bachelor's in, in economics, and then. The, a couple months later, after the show's done, it's like, wow, this is a, you know, champion of this dance crew show, and and it was just kind of a, a really abrupt switch. And then what I did, um, the first thing I did after the show is I bought a MacBook because I would watch a lot of uh, a lot of individuals on YouTube singing, and I'm like, that's amazing, you know, I was, that's uh, I thought it was so cool that that uh, it's something that I would, I would just do, you know, I would just practice singing in my my room and. I'm like, wow, I could actually just share this with people. So I, I bought a MacBook and I started posting videos and then um, people were watching it and I was like, wow, this is great. And then I started getting uh, opportunities to perform uh, music around, literally around the world, which is crazy. And uh, with that, my, my mind kind of thought uh, that this is just the beginning. Like this is literally just the seeds of what's going to happen. And, and without giving it away, uh, just wait and see. Just wait and see. You'll you'll see what is is in my mind very soon. <laughs>